computer. Here we go. Hey, everybody, TGIF Friday. This is Freaky Friday for us because we are doing this, but it isn't really Friday. We're not letting you know that, though. We're actually talking about something that's going to happen tomorrow for Lori. And I think this subject is something that we all need to explore because I'll bet you there's a lot of people out there that are in the same situation that Lori has been in. And we want to share that experience because we want to help you. We want to give you some ideas. We want to give you some thoughts. We want to give you some like meat and potatoes on some of the stuff that she's been dealing with. But I feel like it's, it's a happy thing though, because this is part of being the best quality of yourself, trying to get yourself in the best place. And it's never too late. And you know what? This is life. These are things that happen. And so with that, I'm going to turn it over to you, Lori, and say, Hey, Lori, I know this isn't Friday. This is a different day, but we're on on Friday. And how are you doing today before tomorrow? <laughs> I'm doing great. And just so you know, my, my surgery is on Thursday, but Friday, Friday, right? Wednesday, Wednesday. On Friday, when this is airing, I will be home watching it, and and I'll be recovering. But I'm having my second knee replacement on my left knee. Um, I had my right knee done in October, and was very scared because I did not know what to expect. You know, I've heard a lot of horror stories and that. And um, I went to a doctor that a good friend of mine had su success with. And and that's one of the things that I'm going to tell everyone is if you're deciding you're, you're having problems with your knees, go to somebody that somebody had good success with. I think that's really important because I think one of the big things with knee replacement and the recovery is feeling confident that you're going to be okay, you know, but going on now I had two knees replaced my left knee was actually worse than my right knee they're both bone on bone my left knee which I'm getting done tomorrow is actually not in place it's actually have shifted so it's been having problems for years and it goes back to 28 years ago when I fell off of a table, a high table, and I tore my menis meniscus. And at that time I had surgery. Oh, geez, that was so painful. I had surgery and the doctor told my former husband that um, I would need knee replacement surgery in my future. Well, you know, I suffered for years with problems with it hurting and everything, and I just kind of let it go. But um, then I realized I was really having problems with pain with both knees. So when I went to the do I went to a doctor and the orthopedic, you go to an orthopedic doctor, they took x-rays of both knees and saw that they were both really bad. My left one where it was, there was nothing in between it. And my right one that was going bad. So what I decided to do was I, I had a shift there. My left one was worse, but my right one was hurting me more. Does that make sense, Deb? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I decided to have my right one done first because it was hurting me more. So I had it done and I was um I was out in, in um for oh I don't know. I was sorry. Somebody walked in the room just now, so turned my train of thought out. But um, I was in the hospital overnight because of my, I'm a diabetic. I have MS and that, so the doctor kept me in overnight. Otherwise, it's an outpatient procedure. And it usually takes a couple hours. And um, they go in there and they, you know, they put a whole new structure in there. You know what I mean? Like I'm a, a bionic woman. So I stayed overnight. They had me pretty sedated because I don't remember too much of that overnight stay. And then I went home the next morning and I'm not going to deny it. The first week and the half, it was really, really painful. And the best thing to do is you have to get these machines. And sometimes insurance covers it, sometimes not. I borrowed it from my friend, but it's called an ice machine. And it looks like an ice bucket. And you fill it in with ice and water and it circulates through this pad that goes around your leg. So the ice and the water circulate through, whole, you know, like tubes. 
and they and it keeps your leg cold. And believe me, that is a godsend to have that. And also they have to put on you a, like a compression thing, a machine that goes on you that compresses your leg so that you don't get any blood clot. So there's circulation going at all times. And so that's basically it. So the first week and a half, they give you plenty of pain pills for you to take and you take them and you don't forget to take them. Don't let any time lapse or anything because otherwise you're going to be in a lot of pain. And um, then after that, it was great. Now, he gave me some exercises to do when I was laying there, which they wanted me to do every 15 minutes. And they were simple ones like lifting my leg up, you know, moving my foot up and down and just lifting my leg up and down. And I did that when I could. Now, some doctors require you to go to physical therapy right away, like the next day. Because they want physical therapists to go in there and work with you and show you exercises. My particular doctor did not do that. So it all depends on what your doctor wants for you to do. But I did end up going to physical therapy when I went for my six-week checkup. Uh, you cannot get your leg wet when you're taking a shower. They give you stuff that you can put on it so that you can so that you don't get it wet. Um, otherwise it's pretty, it's pretty easy. You know, I was looking up Debbie, you know, they do over 800,000, um, knee replacements a year in the United States. It's one of the most popular things there is. Wow. Any questions you want to ask me? Cause I'm sure I didn't. Yeah, I do. I have a couple. First of all, I know it sounds crazy, but you know, first of all, people have pain, aches and pains, as we know, as they get older and like some, you say bone on bone. So you could really, could you feel that? Like you knew that it was almost like bone on bone. There was like, so there's nothing left in there. No, like, like soft tissue jelly kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. And I know you tried having that injection too. Yeah. An injection. Bought you some time yeah. probably, right? Bought you some time. Yeah. And I bought, um, and I had the gels put in there where they shoot gels in yep. there. Mm -hmm. I've heard of that. It lasted a few months with me because the bone on bone, it, yeah, like you said, it, it you could actually feel the grinding. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it hurts so bad. And yeah. you know, just get, get up from a chair or sit in a chair. It hurts. It hurts. To yeah. Do what you want to do. And, you know, and people, that have had it, so many people I've talked to, their lives have changed completely because of that. Well, I need to share this with everybody because, um, you know, here's a little pitch here. Lori and I got to go last Friday night. We had yeah. a ball. You guys, we want to go see one one of the many favorite bands we have. And we hate to just say that. So we have so many of them, but we got to go see Semple, okay? Semple was at Bailey Doyle's in Downers Grove, and Lori and I went. And, you know, we were like, it's in the dance. I mean, we can't stand it. We can't stop moving, whatever. And I go, you know, what do you think? And she's like, no, let's go. And she, you were great. You were dancing the first time we got to dance in a long time. And this was with one of her knees done, you guys. And, of course, she wasn't full out, like, all over the place. None of us were because we couldn't be too much because of the way that it was designed where we were standing. But I only can say, I got to say this. It, I can see from my point of view how what she went through prior, how she was to where she is now, and how she it will be when she's done and heals. I am so happy for you because you're able to get that life back. Okay. Nice. And it's all about and listen, I know you have fears and I know everyone has fears. Okay, about like, oh my gosh, should we do should I do this? Oh no, I'm doing this again. And I know I'm gonna have some pain. But you know, it's almost like and I don't mean to say this in a bad way, like no pain, no gain, but it is kind of like, all right, you gotta go through that uncomfortable place in order to get you to the next level. Okay. And I know you're giving all these people hope out there that may have been putting it off for a long time and they may be saying well I don't have the time to do it and I don't I can't this and I can't that and you know you were a huge inspiration and we can say this openly because I know she'd be okay with it to Janet who the painter Janet that paints that we interviewed when you let her know how your first experience was and she went ahead and she did go ahead and do it and I think and she is so happy that she did 
and she's going to have her second one done. And and so many times in life we build up this like oh this fear of like we 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 won't want to do it. But then you you know that, and when you've gone through it and you see what happened and where you came, you're like, now why didn't I do that sooner? I, I'm sure you feel that way sometimes, you know. But I'm so glad you're able to share this in a positive note. Thank and you. I know you're going to be fine and you're going to do great. And we're just going to, the summer is going to be a blast. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> we have can't so wait. much fun. <laughs> I can't wait. I really can't. And, you know, just to, to be able to walk without my walker and, and just feel more confident about it. You know, I mean, most, some of you guys know me and I do love to dance and I've always been a dancer. It's been really hard for me the last four or five years not being able to dance, but I was dancing, sitting in my walker, but I was pretty limited. So yeah, it was fun last Friday that I was able to do that. And it was great. So thank you everyone. And I hope that um, we'll be on next week and, and, and I will tell you how I'm doing. And um, Debbie, thank you for all your support and love and prayers and, um, you know what? Thanks so much, everyone, for letting us come into your house or wherever we're at a couple times a week and yeah. have our little platform because it's not only might have benefited you, but it's benefited us so much. Absolutely. And Absolutely. And I just want to add, if everybody can keep Lori in your prayers for her, because you know, in the next couple of days, you know, it's going to be it is going to be a tough week for her. But I know that you're going to be fine. You're going to motor through it, you know. And I also okay. know that I just want to say that I hope that if there's anybody here that you're contemplating, thinking about doing something with knee surgeries or whatever, w please feel free to reach yeah, out on the page. Right. I know Lori will give you a personal phone call. Right. I know I know this girl right here will help anybody okay and honestly you know it's because she's been also blessed and helped by others you know our friend greg you know he's the yeah. one that gave us this doctor you know like recommendation that lori yeah. has taken and you know what it is true sometimes you just have a better comfort zone knowing that you know somebody right. has, has right. gone through that and and it really does make a difference so right. with that we just want to say thank you so much again and please share us we love this and laura you want to close us out i sure will and you know what have a great day everybody enjoy the weekend and you know what i'm Lori, and i'm debbie and we're friends helping friends take care god bless Bye, guys take care